Right, take those. He'll donate you $50 per kill, but only if you die twice or less this game. $50 per kill! I am not allowed to die. I'm playing most disciplined you guys have ever seen me play. Whole 50 Death Heft. Salud, boss man. Okay, GG. I mean, to the guy that said $50 per kill, 50 is way too much, okay? Double or nothing. If you accept, we continue the challenge into the next game. But same rules apply. If you die twice, you lose everything. Kimberly, thank you for the 10. I can't though. I can't play another game. I'm gonna be coaching Gamer Dad right now. Also, I'm not a gambler by any means. I already have one death, so I I I, I would already decline that offer humbly. I'm the man. All good smiley face. Bro, you actually donated $240. I can't believe it, brother. I just thank you. I'm speechless. Genuinely. You're like your your generosity is uh it's ridiculous. Thank you so much, brother, for your extreme generosity. Alrighty guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all having an amazing day. First things first, we're gonna be announcing the five giveaway winners from the previous Aatrox video where five primordial Aatrox skins would be given away. These are the winners, and if you are amongst the winners, please. Add me on Discord. Join the Discord in the description below. You send me a DM there and I will get you guys sorted. And for this video, I'll be giving away five Don't Bring a Ribbon skins or the skin to you choose around the same price. And all you have to do is join the Discord, leave a comment about anything that you want to share. Tar will select five winners. It can be anything. And again, five winners will be selected. I like to do some more giveaways, so there is that. Uh, in this video, we're going to be playing against some ranged piggies. Over in the top play, we're going to be playing a game against Vayne, game against Swiss Fade, game against Skill. I'll go pretty in-depth on quantum mantles and how to basically beat them. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video, and I'll see you there. Peace. Let's look at enemy drafts. They're pretty much full range with the exception of Briar. I'm very certain that Twisted Fate top. My intuition tells me to try a game of Aurelia because they're like full range, no CC, right? Like Wits End is kind of hard here. Riven is not that good into Twisted Fate. But to be fair, I also just want to do Riven day to day. Oh yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go Riven just for practice reasons. I had to play this matchup a lot when I was in Korea. I'm going to try it again. But I will go this. I'll just go full scaling. I'm not going to run Resolve. I'm not going to raise no bitch, but I'm sticking with TP. Wait, look, my MS is way lower now. Remember when it was 30? Now it's like 22. I didn't change anything. What, what What is going on? Why is it just 10 lower now? This game might be a game where I actually can rush um, Reverence Hydra. And I'll, and I'll explain to you why. It's because they have four range champions that kind of... that Where I get to decide if I want to fight or not, right? So let's say they had like a Rel here and like, I don't know, like a Vi here. I would need HP, right? I would need resistances. I would need to stay alive. But in this game, when they, when they have like four range, what do you want me to do, man? Like, you're just griefing, by the way. And he's gonna ping me for that. Oh, that's nice. Giving Twisted Fate the first blood. All AFK. Great. I, I At least I get to look for priority here. Whatever, run. Let's not talk against this guy. There's no flesh at least. I have the privilege to at least get priority here. I'm not playing with second wind, so it is annoying here to lane. But I'm trading my HP here for priority. I lost more than half, though. That's probably more than I can really uh, afford. Aye, aye, aye. I need this wave to push back into me now. This guy's playing it very well. That alt attack is not allowed to hit me. Okay, the wave is gonna bounce back into me slowly if he hits a little bit more. Also, if he hits me, my means target onto him, so the wave bounces back, right? First of all, he has no flash. Kha'Zix's passing top, but I assume Briar's passing top this game as well, and 2v2 we simply don't win. I have my ward here now, so we can see the Briar. Okay, we're sustaining slowly again. The D shoot. Just gotta make sure I stay in XP range. Any CS I can get for free like that, I'll like look to get fast, right? Oh, never mind, that wasn't free. Kha'Zix wants to gank here by his positioning, I believe. Oh, Briar did level 3 bolt, so he's gonna invade here. Look, like, I have no priority for you, man. If you invade here and die, and you can like, like blame me again, then just get AIDS. Like, he should just gank the Twisted Fate here, it's such a free gank. It's super strange to me that he doesn't gank this. He said invades for Gromp, but yeah. What is this guy doing, man? The fact that Twisted Fate is allowed to play like this is completely... It's, it's genuinely ridiculous. <laughs> we have no prior mid or top. We have two lanes without prior and he does that. Twisted Fate, no flash, and he's allowed to play like that. When... Ah, whatever, man. Like, this guy is genuinely griefing. And then he goes like, oops, for fun, you know? I have to flash that. Why do they have him flash? I wanted to get an XP. I can play the game with how much under is playing the game. It's so hard, man. Briar does a level 3 bot gank, so that means he can never count against top, which is what I was scared of when both jungles are passing to top. 
TF has no flash. He's in my turret and Kha'Zix invades a Gromp instead of just ganking the TF. It happened. It's in the past. I just gotta focus on it now, but I'm more than a full level down and he still had a first blood, right? So it's very tricky for me to play this game. I also can drill all in him because he's bomb plating and the exhaust, so I don't really get kill windows. That's alright. I can try and skill with warm or with the Hydra. That's that's the game plan. My game plan is to stay even, not to win. Yeah, you don't ignite in these matchups because you do not get wave control ever. So you need to go TP to get like a free out of Joe card. Well, we farmed pretty well there. I actually got all of them. So we're even in CS. That's really good, honestly. I'm very satisfied with that. We're behind the XP though. If I'm able to set up a reset here, I'm pretty satisfied too, because we are weak-sided, but this Twisted Fate is, like, this Twisted Fate has to set up his own reset, but he's not in much, like, rush as I am, so he can just freeze this, you know? And so here, now I kind of have to choose, how do I get this wave in on the weak side? What I'm considering is just ulting here with the wave, and not to, like, ulting here, it's gonna give me level 7 as well, and it's gonna just reset the wave. And if I don't ult here, I never get this wave in. And so now I at least get the wave in, but if he freezes, ah, oh, I might just be dead nonetheless. That last auto caught me. The wave does bounce. He lost both summoners. It's like, it's not that bad of a death. He lost ult and both summoners and the wave will bounce. So unironically, it's not that bad. Dude, he's just like out fighting me nonetheless. Like piss off, man. Ah, uh, yeah, of course the Briar is here. Why would my job? Ah, oh, there's a karma to- oh, man. I didn't expect Briar to still be there after she had already done grubs too, but yeah. The good part about this game is that I'm getting my TP back again, and we've been able to manage to stay even in farm, mostly because of that one ultimate cast I've done, right? If it wasn't for that ultimate, I would be so far behind in, EX, uh, in CS, so because of uh, that, we're still actually, you know, being competitive in terms of CS, so... That's giving me a chance in this game, considering this guy got the first blood and is getting more ganks than... Uh, I am, but look, we still have good farm, so in that regard, I'm still pretty satisfied with my gameplay here. I think I've made a... Bro! Okay, got full Cricket Slayer, can we just like, go next? Sorry, I processed the fact that he has that already. What I have to do now is stay until I have 1.4k gold, reset, base the P with a Hydra, and the... well, let's see. Yeah, well, that's playable. And the Karma's coming topside, Briar's probably coming topside. They got six grubs as well. Ah! The whole ending phase has been a matter of survival, guys. We're somehow doing really good in the farm department, though, but man, my man, is this impossible. Unfortunately. Well, well, well. Yeah, Doran's shield is getting buffed and Hydra is getting buffed, so those are two good things for Riven. Or sorry, Cleaver is getting buffed, not Hydra. Even with all the things happening, guys, I have a CS lead, so I can, I can take some pride in that, right? Oh. Never mind, just fucking FF. Please tell me I live. Good flash. Both sums again. Oh, I have to do something desperate. It's been a very unplayable game from my perspective, bros. You know what I hate against Twisted Fate, guys? You need Mercs and... C you know what? You need CDR boots, Mercs and Tabis. Because he goes AD, you need CDR to gap close, and then you need... Um, um, uh, what's it called? Mercs for his tenacity. I, I don't know. You need three boots against this champion. Okay, he should be dead. This is gonna give me so much dopamine. <laughs> Whoever said that the uh, skill cap said that you should drop your tier one turret so he can overstay. Yeah, you guys were precisely right. Guys, drop your tier one turret and just let your opponents overstay and just kill them. Skill cap was right all along. GG. Okay, Akali's strong now and Twisted Fate has died twice now, so we're actually in a good spot now. Uh, get off me, you bastard. But I did say it. Oh, I missed my W. I should, like, I should just not even think about helping him in his call. I go Death Sense here instantly, by the way. I have to. And I'm getting a lot here. Enemy team? Oh.
No, he outplayed me, guys. Like, he just outplayed me. So... I don't know. Looks like we're winning the fight at least. Use both sums. This is a terrible TP. It's alright. Once I have depth sense, I, even then I don't think I win, honestly. I hope she's in the reset. Probably go bolt. Uh, I might be dead already. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have no sums, so you can suck my fat nuts. Nobody was there. I just get passionate about it gets ranged top laners, you know, like... Is he gonna like flame me for that, or...? This bitch has no flash. Oh, my days, I actually got juked. Nice side distance. The side look is terrible, but it's alright. The one thing in this game is I've always managed to maintain high in CS numbers, right? So that has been my saving grace. The one turn where Twisted Fate ulted bot and my Aphelios actually killed Misfortune, Twisted Fate and got the turret kind of won us the game. Holy shit, my bot is smurfing it. They are smurfing. She just kills the Lulu real quick, like, sure, I guess. Oh, I'm so dead. I went way too deep. That's nobody's fault but my own, honestly. This Akali is smurfing it. Well, not much counter play against that combo from Tusset Fate. This guy's exhausted, I'm not even sure if I can kill him. He can TP again away as well if he wants to. You f like f the fuck that this champion is even a top laner, man. I need CDR boots. I need Mercs. I need Tabis. It's it's like the most end like whatever. It's fine. This guy is just a, like a uh, not a good human being. He's gonna flush on me. He's rapid fire. This guy is just not a good human being though, for real, for real. I didn't get the cannon, doesn't matter. I didn't get my level 15, by the way. I'm trying to get my level up timers. Maybe something like this. Oh, mama. Oh, that's not good. You bad bitch. No! How did the card land in time? <laughs> <laughs> Is there any, 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 any Twisted Fate players in my chat? Anybody here that plays Twisted Fate? No, just Vayne Top. <laughs> TF1 trick here. Mods. It's one exhaust out. Oh, come on. Come here to fight. Oh. This game is like the typical master game though. If we, once I get this and QSS, then I actually think I beat him, but he's already four items. How do I have a shutdown out of anybody in this game? How am I the one with the shutdown? Oh wait, I forgot about rapid fire. And against... Psst. I have to play against gold card. Then once I can finally move my legs, it's exhaust into another gold card. And then, I don't know, man, like something snaps in my brain, but... Oh. My bitch. Well, we have the soul. I think I just play s slow with my team here. Oh. Q says. <laughs> Holy shit! He got double Q says on. It's like two spits in his face. Like, like, nah, I don't know. Sorry. Hey, that was a good game. I definitely did get AIDS like 50 million times. Why is my Kali recalling? Okay, I guess we're just recalling. You have a Lich Bane to... Oh, this guy has a Lich Bane for uh, cosmetic purposes. Oh.
Not that much counter play. We just back off. I'm gonna fix the bot wave. Please don't fight. I just wanna fix the side wave and then we go as five. Are they randomly doing better in a way, right? TF doesn't have flash. They're just doing it without Briar. Where is my team? How is that? I'm going. Okay. Do you have cat? Um. They are not. No, they are. Second exhaust for fun. Oh. This Kha'Zix needs to get like a kiss in the forehead and like I don't know something else as well by the way. I won't mention what but I'm not a fan of this Kha'Zix with all due respect. That guy just jumped in for people for fun to die. Like, nothing else, realistically. See, I don't even know if this guy is, like, actually trying to win or... No, no, I do know. Okay. Oh, he's in our base. Hi, Captain Piggy. Do we defend? <laughs> Wait, we might have it, we might have it. Lock in. We actually stopped them. We actually stopped them. Okay, it's 3v3 here. I think we just back off, no? We don't have to do something here. Like, we don't have to lose the game here. Somehow saved it, we can get Elder. And I can get full build. Okay, we're somehow still in this game, guys. I ain't got a clue as to why, but hey. Winnable. I don't want another item with an item active. Because I already have two, and I'm gonna get disgustingly confused. So I'm gonna just go for this. Playing with open Nexus has to be, like, top 10 most stressful thing. That's the thing. You know, this uh, support player, Jack Troll. It's like the Vitality support player. He won a poker tournament, like a giant poker tournament. You know why? He was never stressed. He's had like 10 scenarios where he's played with open nexus. Nothing is more stressful than playing a game of League of Legends with a fucking open nexus. And why is my team doing Baron? Oh no. Why am I TPing? I could end the game. I have eight. Why, why did I just TP? I'm so... Lou. Why is nobody dying? That's what, okay, I was, I was about to say, you can just fucking die and uh, you win the game. What was I gonna say? Didn't even like sweat. Didn't even sweat. No battle scars. No battle scars. I didn't sweat. Oh, open nexus ain't stressful at all, man. I didn't sweat. I don't have battle scars. Like, I'm not chilling, by the way. I made it to Emerald 4 with a 77% win rate on Mundo. Why didn't I think of him earlier? Wormog's still going strong. Yes, sir. I think is fine. Let's go. I think my setup is seems a little laggy again, but... It's all good. I started to kill. I like Absorb Live over Triumph lately. I go Haste because it's best on Riven. And then I've, I've been running Cutdown lately because the 8% damage to champions above 50% is good. I'm running Ignite because I can control the wave and I have kill pressure. So when I run Ignite, I go Sorcery with Nimbus and then Transcendence. Double that and scaling health because I don't need flat health in the early game. Why am I randomly in full Diamond lobby, by the way? I, I legit won almost all my games yesterday. Randomly, we're back to Diamond. Oh, yeah. Is, why is skill relatively strong level 1? Because we're passive. Her passive allows her to do more damage. So if any champion has damage from their passives, such as Akshan, Aurora, Darius, Urgot, right? Fiora, they're stronger level one, just because of that. Level two, I'm way stronger. All right, we got 80 MS, so that's good. Uh, I'll go Longsword 3, and then uh, I'll explain as to why. So guys, follow these steps with me, okay? First thing I do when loading into the game is I check my opponent's setup. All right, so I'm playing against a kill with Flesh Teleport, and she has Fleet and Sorcery, so no Bone Plating. So she's already weaker at level one. I'm gonna go Longsword in three potions, and my intention with that is that I'm basically allowing myself to play a more trait-oriented playstyle. If I look for equal health traits, I benefit because I have three potions, and very often people only have one potion. So I'm able to out-sustain by looking for an equal health trait, which is like uh, allowing me to play a very aggressive style here. Damn, I see I've got two of his teammates in his room as well. Actually, one of them is Tar, my YouTube editor, and one of them could be you guys. Okay, and then 
And uh, the second thing I look at is junglers. Well, they have a jungler that's pretty good at ganking. My jungler is more so full clearing. And I want to look for an early game ward so I know how the jungles are pathing. It looks like Sejuani's are on top side at least, so I have that information here. And I assume Seju is pathing towards bot here then. So is Lilia, so we're kind of in an equal strength here. What about Jay with her? It's good for me. Okay, it's a little piggy. I just want to verify Sejuani's pathing here. It's pretty awkward for Kill to get back to lane here. Remember, she's playing sorcery. I'm only gonna do two Qs, so I'm back to lane faster. And now I'm gonna zone this kill from the first three means worth of EXP. And that is going to doom her game. So now I'm waiting for my Q, waiting for her to choose. Now she has to choose. I wait for these means to get lower. Very important step, don't skip that. And now kills to choose. Walk up for last hits or lose EXP. Choose. Make sure I sent in the range. Now I drag these means with me, drop the aggro because next wave is coming. And now, if the aggro is good, the wave actually has a chance to push into me as well. Kill is perpetually behind in means right now, so I don't want to hit these means. Only last hit latest frames, like such. And I'll hit my level 2 here, and kills to level 1. And I'm going to zone it for more XP. And this is all because of the level 1 trick that I did. I'll go E here for all the mean damage. And now I have a slow push. I'll probably look to set up a 4-5 crash. think I lost one melee worth of XP, but I'll be able to figure it out by knowing the level of timers. No, I haven't actually. Then my level 3 timer. I'm slow pushing this wave. If I can get a single small... She just hit the level 2. I'm already level 3, right? I want to get one small trade onto her because then I can set up a dive. I'm going to be level 4 while she's still level 2, rather. And now this loses her laning phase. Okay. She has to recall. If she doesn't, she dies. I have to push this in very fast. I need one minute to just walk with me here. Anyways, was a clean early game. Should have been a first blood though. I hope you guys still learn something new because if you do that to your opponent, you basically win the game like very early. So yeah, yeah. <sighs> so Giovanni is likely coming back into top side because remember that piggy cleared top into bot, and so now she's likely going back towards the top side. See if I can zone this guy from the cannon. <laughs> okay, what happens? Uh, apparently, kill is flash advantage. I'm not entirely sure as to why, but yeah. Uh, And Kel is forced to walk up for last hit, so she's still completely cooked here. It just only if I have flash would be nice. But yeah, this guy's not able to play the game. Sejuani is bot, light, bot side again. I'm gonna get her flash here in a second. Alright, Lucian, that's all you know. And this Lucian doesn't have a stroke. Good job. Sejuani is coming back into top side. However, I am gonna hit my level 6 here, I believe. And so what I could. Whatever, I'm not getting it. Uh, I was thinking maybe, maybe, maybe I zone kill from this way. But to be fair, better to just use my tempo right now to get my reset. Bet my gold. I'm going to get as much value like this. I'm still having all the gold towards this. Waiting for my potion. Next wave, I have ignite and I'm going to try and kill it again. <gasps> Dude, did you lose weight? Your face is so skinny. Oh, I am currently on a diet and going to the gym regularly. I mean, um, so that's a very nice compliment. I'm going to get my level six from one minion. So what I could do in these scenarios is like be uh, Michael Jackson and basically do a loop around so he doesn't see me he's definitely gonna see me i've hit my level six like he doesn't have level six right now you know i just took me in damage this bush is warded a very interesting play style i'm assuming she's just put a ward in the river so i'll ward for that i might be able to get her flash here uh, 1 HP gaming. I think it's better for me to keep the freeze here, actually. That's alright. But basically, this kill has not been able to play, right? Like, from level 1, I zoned her. Then I did the 4th wave crash. After the 4th wave crash, it bounced into me. Uh, and she died because of the bounce. And now, I crashed the wave into her turret, took my reset, and the wave's bouncing into me again. So, literally, from level 1, kill has not been able to play the game. Do you guys see that? I've queued late here. I still win the fight. Oh, there's a piggy behind. Well... That's ward just blesses me. Sometimes these lane wards are just, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna dodge this. Woo! I'm that funny. <laughs> I am slow pushing this wave, guys. Uh, to set up a bounce timer for myself. Actually, no. I need 1.5k gold, right? So I'll slow push this wave. Hard push next wave. Take this plate. And then I have my eclipse. Cannon wave gets you around 200 gold. Normal wave gets you around 100 gold. Plates give 125. So this was around 200, right? Next wave, 100. The wave after uh, the plate... 125 and then I'll have enough. Now we just need the plate. Say a little bit of fundamentals. Just one hit. 
And we got our Eclipse. I'm gonna recall second bush because if he cancels my base, I lose my tempo. And there we go. Very clean landing phase. I'm gonna Arpush his wave. I should use the Mad W maybe here. Nah. All the are fine. I wanna try and zone her from getting to the turret here. Sejuani could be coming to the top side though. What? Alright, there we go. We finally get our kill. She has teleport, so let's just recall. I got CDR boots. We're in a perfect spot here. Why Eclipse first? Because I'm high key snowballing. It was good for my resets. Uh, it's very good into this guy. I can follow up with the Sun Sky now and then put the rest of my build. It's good into matchups like these, right? Into these range champions, I like Eclipse, especially when I'm snowballing. Like I said, my score didn't highlight that I was snowballing, but this guy has practically spent 700 gold towards his first item. And so, uh, yeah, she's very far behind. Kind of want like W or like QW here. W auto, get Eclipse shoot, E shoot. That's like fine. Sure she's dead. So there what I did is you saw me prep E before I did my combo, right? So the combo you do there is you do E, auto, double cast, so W, Q, click on the ground, auto attack again. That's the highest burst combo that you can do. Can you like piss off? Now that I've gotten to tier one, we can start playing the map because I push it all the way into a tier, a tier two, which means scale is to collect this, this, and this before it reaches my turret. And that gives me a temp opportunity to try and roam around the map. I'm gonna go for Sundered Sky. I usually match Sundered whenever I go Eclipse. Their main win condition is their bot lane. In fact, that's their only win condition. Thank you for bits, rather, Yo 200. Alois underscore NL. Please don't play Nocturne top today. <laughs> Reverse right. psychology. Goodbye, piggies. I'm gonna go bot lane here now. I'm gonna go play with this wave. Why? 40 seconds before playthings will drop. So I get two more waves to play with. Their win condition shut down. And now the game is over, right? That's that's how easy it is sometimes to expect you to leave from top lane. <laughs> Look at that grub damage, man. Six grubs is so ridiculously broken, honestly. I've killed late, but... No, I'm definitely dead here, by the way. That's bad. I give a shout out to Draven, which is their only win condition. In the games like these, this is like the last person I want to give a kill towards, right? Because, yeah, he's their only win condition. It's kind of me against Raven here, so giving that guy a kill is a, is a giant blunder. That's just uh, I'm down to fight here. I'm on my spike. Draven is like... 2k gold in base, so for Draven's perspective, he doesn't really want to skirmish right now. I'm trying to block her Q. If I don't let her Q, she can't escape. Well, that's cheating. And now I'll go to top lane. In fact, we have some tempo mid lane here too, because this guy has to walk around. I'm going to use the, the tempo that they're creating here to push in this wave and just secure the mid turret, right? I could move there as well, but I think my team already has it. And so by me pushing the wave, I create the tempo for my team to get the turret. So you see here, I'm trying to be as efficient as I can whenever I can. And now, this is a big part too. Very often what people do when they're ahead is they play for defensive play. So they would go top lane here to defend whatever kills pushing here right see i'm setting up things myself permanently i went bot and i shot ender bot lane i went mid now and i get the mid lane turret and now i go top now sure kill gets this turret but she's already zero and four i don't care if kill gets like a little bit of resources as long as i'm expanding my lead across the map right but of course i you have to do it in an efficient manner and his lane falls is over at like i don't know minute 14 and till minute 19 he still only went top lane well you see here I won my lane, I got the tier 1 turret, I pushed into here and I said, now I'm gonna expand my lead. I got the bot tier 1, right? I killed our bot lane once, and now I get the mid tier 1. Now the map is much more open and playable. Alright, let's see if we can gank here. If the Draven dies here, it's pretty safe to say that the game is over. He flashed, I'll get that timer down. So you see that he's not playing Inspiration, that means 5 minutes here. I ping it 16-16, 21-16 is gonna be his next flash. Oh, there, my team is winning here. Beautiful, 21-16 AD. This is also why you should uh, take timestamps here. This setting is disgustingly bright right here. Show timestamp this one right here. Because whenever I ping something, let's say my own flash, it shows the timer of the game. And so it's very easy to calculate the cooldown of summoners. So now I go bot. Like I said, I'm going for the death stance. Now I push up bot, play for the tier 2. <clears throat> like I said, I'm not going to defend kill pushing this. Because I don't really care about that guy, you know? I'm just permanently creating tempo by pushing it into his tier 2. Kills to push out so many waves, and by the time that kill was pushing here, I was ready to dragon. So you see, I'm permanently getting tempo through the side waves, getting my resources, making it bounce back into me. Because like I said, this side wave is pushing back into me. Remember when I crashed it and said it will bounce back into me? Lucian is able to get gold now because of how I'm managing the side waves. And on top of that, I also create tempo for myself to be here at a dragon fight. So what I just did the, those last two minutes, you know, pushing out top, getting it into tier two, resetting going into bot, made sure that I'm in time for the dragon, made sure that the side wave pushes back into me, and Elementals. Alright, we're chilling. 
ultimately leads to consistency and efficiency. There you go. Tempo. Okay. Easy target. Give it to one. This got out of hand. <laughs> 55 is crazy. I think you're the highest one with Jezix and Kranos. Now I'm gonna go top lane. I'm fine going top lane here because I want to play for this tier 2 turret. So my Lucian can go bot. I have three items here. Draven no flesh yet because I have the timer. I have my three item spikes so I know I'm strong. And then from fundamentals and macro and tempo. I just easily carry the game. We should be taking Baron now. And you see, this skill is still 0-4, and I've never been really defending this skill. I've just been making my own plays around the map, right? Permanently making sure I'm ahead in tempo. Sure, she got two turrets now. I genuinely couldn't care less. She's gonna be two items. I'm gonna be four. What do I buy? Arguably, this is best. Oh, this is best for sure. Why am I buying this? Your monitor arrived? I actually have it already, so we're vibing. I didn't I didn't uh, plug it in yet, though. I'm gonna do it after the stream. Well, kill finally grouped. I hope she had a lot of fun grouping. Oh, that was fun for her, right? And plus 50. GG! Clean game. Start to finish. <coughs> oh, passive stacks count for cleaver procs? Hell no, man. Hell no. If that's true, that's ridiculous, by the way. I don't think they'll do that. I don't think this will work. I don't... This seems... This seems... Uh... Anybody <laughs> All right, guys. We're in for the... We're in for a fun one. Yes, yes. Let's hope Simon uh, does, uh, doesn't like uh, vain top players. She's playing with Resolve as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mom is a fat... Very speaking, the weakness to range top champions is that they're actually not that strong in the early game. Like, level one. That's not per se true. But some range top players, like Nar, for example, right? Or like Jace with phase rush. Vayne, on the other hand, is you just lose from level 1 to get go. Like, you just never win. I have cut down. Oh, why cut down? Because I do more damage when they're high HP, so I do easier execution damage as well. Oh, what's up, bitch? Well, I got our bone plating. Massive. And we get a ward on Belvet here. This ward is completely fine against Belvet because a lot of Belvet players do like Raptor's Krux rep buff or Raptor's rep buff Krux gank top. So I should be able to spawn her clear. Uh, I never like to go for assumptions, but this is a very standard Belvet clear. Both of them. Is Edge of Night Russian option? It is, especially because they have a very squishy team. The follow-up to Edge of Night is pretty awkward. What do I go after Edge of Night, right? So, I'll see. I think Eclipse is still better, but let's see. If she face checks me, I'm in a good spot. She's standing here. You know what I'm going to do with that? Get priority. And I'm not going to use this priority with the means of killing her, but it's going to give me a somewhat maybe easier time to farm. But to be fair, I'm geeking. I just let her push. Don't do shit. Vayne, you're a creature. You know that, right? Wait, my Briar's passing bolt. My Briar's an even bigger creature. Well, I'm getting AIDS. You gotta use bushes to your advantage. I've lost two means that I should've gotten. Three now. All right, it's all good. This guy's playing very reserved. Okay, this guy's invading. So Belvet is passing top. Very strange. This is why you never make assumptions, right? Oh, no, Belvet started my bot side. She's 12 and a rep buff. So we're actually playing map split here. That's why the Vayne is playing so passive. Okay, now everything makes sense. You see, Belvet is doing map split. She's doing my bot side into her bot side. And my Briar is doing her top side into enemy top side. So... Missed some less that I could have gotten. I'm trying to get a bone plate in here, but I don't think I can. Briar can look for a gank here, though. See, the thing is, like, I kind of bluff that my Briar is ganking, because she has she has no jungler nearby, but she's playing pretty reserved as well. I've lost 0 XP. Oh, that was an int by her. What the fuck? Oh, she used both so What do you want me to do, bro? I like getting pinged for nothing. All right, we both have to think about resets. Like, how do we set up uh, our resets here? Okay, my bot lane is winning uh, on the map split position, so that's impressive by my bot lane. You done all right, all right job here. Flip six, tier one, tier one, tier nine, brother. I don't think I'm getting my level six exactly here. But I'm not sure. This is generally speaking the wave where you get your level 6, but Briar could have taken like a minuscule amount of XP from me and it already wouldn't count. I'm just gonna set up my reset here. Although Vayne is not gonna push the wave. 
I'm kind of cooked here. I think Vayne has recalled. Yeah, I think she recalled. I baited her. I think she's actually recalled. This is beautiful for me. I didn't show for long enough, and I guess she thought I recalled. We didn't. Beautiful. And now the wave is bouncing. We actually get a good crash without having to, like... What about anything? Wave will bounce. We're in a good spot. I'll get one potion. This ward is annoying. Maybe she go sweeper. Or get a pink. I can play with this wish now, which is pretty tricky. She doesn't have flush for a minute, right? She's bone plating again as well. I have to play around her bone plating first. Oh, she got outspaced. It's hard to explain what I did, but there was one movement input where I spaced backwards and then instantly spaced upward, and that one movement input where I spaced backwards made her feel safe enough to walk up and, uh, yeah, get cooked, bitch. I'm gonna reset. <clears throat> I'll put my ward here, because I'm getting sweeper anyways. Uh, you know, boots or the long sword. I think I prefer the long sword. Oh, you're so good! I need to somehow get a reset, but it's very tricky because I can never get the wave to crash into her turret, right? So, the other way to set up a reset is basically whenever she's crashed the wave into my turret, I have to collect it super fast and then set up my reset that way. That's the alternative option. There we go. Well, to be fair, I'm kind of inclined to sell my refill so I can get the Eclipse, but also kind of seems like a waste. Oh, she's gonna make this way freeze. I need my gank here. Oh! Okay. Can I just help to get this to crash? All I want is the reset here. I'm ulting not to kill her, but they just put it at 1 HP. Good. Oh, I can get to play this one. Oh. oh, but that's like GG. Her dying here and look, losing all these means is just like GG for her, you know? Alright, go with flash. I'm gonna hit the wave. That's, it's good for me, not that good for my team, but hey. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Oh, wow, Vayne. I think you're dead. Simon! Do the thing, Simon! Oh. Simon were cooked, by the way. Simon were in trouble. Fine! Hey! Get him, Simon. How many fallback pets do you have, Vayne? To be fair, she played that pretty well, but. That was an amazing trade. She feels that. Being able to pressure Vayne player is pretty, pretty, pretty good vibe. Play top more, Briar. You lose. Bro, you got solo killed. Why are the worst players always the guys that talk the most? Like, I'm gonna Q3, and now she thinks I have no cooldown. But I do. Because I'm driven. Bitch. Okay, that input was awkward. That's just a 26-inch gap. Basically, Q3, they think you have no cooldowns, and then you flush on top of them and one-shot them. My team can win the skirmish now, because it's 4v3. Tp top. I'm not gonna go for the ping because it would delay my tempo opportunity to get the turret here, and I'd be too late on the way. <laughs> okay, nice. And I'm gonna reset and go bot. Oh, edge. Am I being stream sniped? No. That's a massive kill for me. I'm gonna skip this wave because it's already gone. I'm just gonna push out the next one. And in the meantime, the bot wave is pushing into me. I don't know why the Nami's playing her by her own. But getting kills like that is good. First of all, for gold, but also for the XP. Because I want to make sure I stay equal to the XP that this guy has. Swing on both here kind of sucks for me, but I'll take it over later again. Um, now I gotta choose. So, Death Stance is good against Belbet and uh, uh, Lucian, but it's bad against Vayne because Vayne does true damage. But I also want some kind of resistances against the Talia. But going magic resist is kind of shit because it's only Talia. Like, don't take my side lane, you know? Like, at least allow me to carry. Uh... That hit? Okay. Not my bad. 
Well, Talia flushing is massive, though. Why we're actually winning this. Okay, don't play it. I hope Varus gets this. Swain getting this <laughs> high key sucks, but maybe it motivates him to play the game. I actually did not mean to walk up there. I'm gonna Q3, though. Yeah, it's not a good coach. If I put him at 1 HP, that's enough. I don't need to kill him to still get this tier 2, by the way. Plus one. Beautiful, that works. And now I get tier 2 as well. Game over. If he stays, well, I dive him. If he leaves, I get a tier 2. Win-win. Right? But you gotta make that decision fast there. And if she was grouped, I'll get tier 2 for free. Now I can play for both tier 2. There's still two tiers here to play for. However, Baron is up as well, so we gotta keep that in mind. You're a pig. I get tempered the boot because Swain is dead. Bless. LZ would probably be there. I'm actually out of the EXP curve now. And that's just because I got the solo kill here on Nami. I got the solo kill here on Vayne. Told you already. Solo kills is the best way to get EXP in the game. Baron is always a threat. They have a pretty fast Baron. They saw me on that ward. Again, I'm not going to go for the ward because it would ruin my tempo. Same thing here. I'm going to push out this bolt wave. Okay, Talia's here though. So, I'm not going to do much here. Also, Belvet can look to gank me. But she seems to be very scared, right? If Talia goes for that ward, she's scared of something. So some players on my team, I guess, are unknown, which is good. 1.6k gold with item. Very speaking, my goal in side laning here is like getting priority. So by pushing the wave into her, and then when the wave is pushed in, I can look for potential drone camps. But my team is starting Baron here, so maybe I can just like be a good art, like be a good dancing monkey and distract them. I can get level 16 on this mid wave. Beautiful. I'm gonna back off. There's nothing to do anymore. Plays over. Good Baron by my team, honestly. Very well done. I don't know what that was, but uh, yeah. I think they wanted to make a, saint, a play on the sideline or something, but uh, not happening. But the Talia has been sidelining against me for most of this game. She doesn't have flash, I believe. Oh, there we go. Here is where the uh, absorb life comes into play as well. Oh, I don't have uh, like I don't have any life still, right? But that's why absorb life is really good in these scenarios. And be mindful of the fact that this guy always has uh, Zonias and uh, serpents. No, not serpents. Ban, not banshees either. What's this? Seraphs. There we go. To be fair. My team is already fine here, I believe, so I'm just gonna get the tier 2 here. Buff the bear minion wave and get this. Ah, my mama, la mama, 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 mia. Uh, me missing that wallop actually makes me have two alt attacks less and not get this. No flash. Yup. I went for full damage build, baby. Holy, Sun is a savage. I don't want Swain to get it. <laughs> I like this damage setup actually. Holy, these three items feel disgusting together. Again, enemy team is full squishy, right? So I'm able to go for that, but that feels pretty good. Clean game, man. I'm very satisfied with my gameplay here. Bad for Talia. She played a good game, but she also didn't really... I mean... No, she played a very clean game. There's not much she could have done different. I think her team just didn't... Play around her at all either when she died bot lane the game became very hard for her to carry i like this game very clean right oh one benefit that you should always keep in mind right if you go remember when i said when i was laning with vayne and we're like both 60 cs like we're both even i said okay if we're both even in lane that's winning the reason i say that is because after laning phase it's way easier for riven to farm drone camp side waves and be faster on the map vayne has no wave there right that's inherently her biggest downside and it's also hard for her to farm drone camps. Like, I farm two drone camps faster than she farms a side wave. So if you're even in the laning phase, in the mid to late, you're always gonna have more by default because of my, like, AoE and mobility, right? So now I'm 100 CS up. You wanna fight? You can't stop me. Oh, go Sue. <laughs> That's why I said you go for full one-shot build. I didn't even need my ult. That was what? W auto Hydra? So we treat those range piggies. <gasps> okay. All good. As reported. Don't say as. Every everybody hates my Swain. That guy was so annoying, man. What a criminal. That guy, Haiki, was a criminal, no? What a little piggy. <laughs>
But I take man. those. He'll donate you $50 per kill, but only if you die twice or less this game. $50 per kill! I am not allowed to die. I'm playing most disciplined you guys have ever seen me play. Whole 50! They have left. Salute, boss man. Okay, GG. I mean, to the guy that said $50 per kill, 50 is way too much, okay? Double or nothing. If you accept, we continue the challenge into the next game. But same rules apply. <laughs> if you die twice, <laughs> you lose everything. Kimberly, thank you for the 10. I can't, though. I can't play another game. I'm gonna be coaching Gamer Dad right now. Also, I'm not a gambler by any means. I already have one death, so I I I, I would already decline that offer humbly. I'm the man. All good smiley face. Bro, you actually donated 240 dollars. I can't believe it, brother. I just thank you. I'm speechless. Genuinely, you're like your your generosity is uh, it's ridiculous. Thank you so much, brother, for your extreme generosity.